Well, Happy New Year to everybody and welcome back. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video and uh, I've got this guitar done and I'm doing a review of it. So this will be the first one for the new year. Uh, but before I go any further, I want to thank everyone that's uh, placed an order and have inquired about the Canadian Breed guitars. I'm uh, thankful that you have and I'm so far pleased with the responses I've been getting and everyone seems to be happy and, uh, and enjoying their instruments which is great, great great news to hear and I anticipate a lot of uh, new friendships being established this year as well and um, should be a good year. Anyways, I'm doing this Jazz Master uh, for Shane Rideout. Uh, he's out of Guelph, Guelph area, Guelph or Brantford. And uh, we have a two-piece swamp ash body with a whitewash uh, blonde uh, color coat we still see a good portion of the grain in there. It looks really sweet. Uh, it's a really comfortable guitar. It's not overly heavy or, or too light that it would feel like a toy, but it definitely has uh, enough there that uh, it keeps uh, the neck and the body nicely balanced. Uh, we have standard uh, tremolo, uh, standard pickguard and electronics, a two-piece uh, maple neck with a nice uh, we have some nice uh, bird's eye maple happening in there. You won't be able to see it here, but I'll be taking some uh, shots of it, some close-ups, so throwing them on the website. We have a pair of Lawler Jazzmaster pickups that sound incredible, and we also upgraded the bridge to a mastery bridge uh, to deal with some of the idiosyncrasies of the Jazzmaster, which comes into play because of the lack of the spring angle, uh, the breaking angle from the spring over the bridge, over the uh, saddles. So one thing that I've done with this guitar is I've put an angle into the floor of the neck pocket so the uh, neck is actually on a slight angle that'll help most guys shim them so I've taken that uh, issue right out of the uh, equation so there's a ramp in there I'm starting to do that with all my guitars actually and um, uh, the other thing is uh, we're going with higher gauge strings which seems to help as well because what I think is happening and someone may be able to correct me if I'm wrong but because of that lack of string break you have the vibration happening here which is picked up by the pickups as well, which adds to the sound of the Jazz Master anyways. So uh, if it's well intonated and you have a, a higher uh, set of gauge strings, you should have no problem. And then using this uh, Mastery Bridge, which is an excellent piece of machine work, I must say, uh, should help eliminate most of those problems. So we're just going to run through some of the sounds and tones you can get out of this, uh, this guitar. Um, I'm just using my Vox 30. Actually, it's my son's. Uh, it's a, a model, a modeling app. So there's different presets on there. You have the boxes and the uh, Fender uh, different units. And uh, we're just going with a. Uh, looks like it's a Super Twin. <laughs> circuit when this position uh, switches down at the lower position it's just an on off switch you have the two circuits happening you have a lead circuit and you have a rhythm circuit rhythm circuit is when you're up in the up position and only the uh, neck is activated this is deactivated the, the top switch has been deactivated and you have your tone and volume controls here <laughs> Right now I have both, both pick 
notes are activated. <laughs> Thank you. 
full and pretty strong. Alright, so we're just in a clean channel right now. And uh, just to finalize, finish up, um, just to push in um, tremolo. These are wide and low frets. So there's a lot of uh, width, a lot of width and room in there. It's very comfortable to play. There's so many tonal variations to this thing. It's just you could spend day after day just coming up with different uh, tones. That's so that's one of the nice things about uh, the Jazz Masters. I know it's a really popular guitar for the indie scene. And uh, that's where I'm noticing a lot of the guys are interested, are playing in and are looking at these types of guitars. But it's, uh, it sounds great, and uh, this is definitely uh, going to be a popular model, I think. sending in uh, their video uh, reviews themselves. actually and um, we will uh, see you later make sure you make comments and ask lots of questions check out my website www.canadianbrew.com and my Facebook which you will be able to link from the main page and uh, tell all your buddies about it start uh, doing friend requests and you can get all the updates uh, that I make as I do these guitars and uh, someday we'll talk to you anyways we will see you later bye bye for now Thank <laughs> you.